Oi boys, welcome, welcome to the very first simulation of the 2024 season. Kicking things off with a representative match, the 2024 NRL All-Stars match. The Indigenous taking on the Māori. Couple of interesting, uh, let's say selections for both sides. Still plenty of the top tier players taking part and if anyone's been keeping tabs on who's actually ahead in this little contest between the two. Of the five matches played, both teams have won twice and they've also drawn so it's a deadlock but yeah like i said it's a simulation i won't be playing the game itself we'll be predicting the outcome of the upcoming match big trail gets us underway here the moldy will be receiving in the first run of the day a little anticlimactic i'm not gonna lie I'm looking for a big hit or something to spark things up Alright, didn't talk about the settings, it is on 15 minute halves, so plenty of time to uh, score plenty of points, hopefully. Dangerous ball, Latrell Mitchell, your first try scorer. Could be trouble. The Fox gets around one. And Josh Adokar will take it to the house. Unless... No, Arthur's unable to slow him down. Or stop him, I should say. The Fox on the board. Jeez. Who is this butler bloke? Just steamrolled one. And they're just looking unstoppable at the moment. Still no points for the Moldy as... But Donnie Stagg just gets around one. Brian Kelly. The hits and the drive for their third of the match. Yeah, we're going to need the Māori to wake up because this could get ugly. Pompey steps around one. There's life here for... The indigenous Māori, as Pompey will get wrapped up inside the 20 here. The hits for Hughes, and the drop down cheese continues. These try scorers are low key realistic. It's a returnathon. This time it's Sosefo Fufita or Jojo Fufita. His uh, nickname in English, if you will. But I know he was uh, part Mouldy. Leo Thompson, the big units, will drive for another drop down try. Trindle, all the shots. And it's Kenny Bromwich scooping it up with a clear lane to the try line. The Mouldy are back. Decent. It's pretty much where the games have been played, except for the returns. As right, so they kick it straight to Latrell Mitchell, who catches it on the full. And he's going to go coast to coast. It's another another return. He's not going to take it to the house, though. He does get wrapped up. But yeah, this game's going to be an all. Book of the meters has been made on the returns. Simple head up. Looking to take the lead of 10 to go. This is Trindle. One on one with Arthurs. There's your green lights. 18 to 22. As Shaq Mitchell finds a bit of space around the rock. Finds a pass as well. Can't wait to see how he goes this year for the bunnies. As Kelly splits them. Indigenous is getting loose at the moment. We're gonna put this game out of reach with another try potentially. Trindle. That's the last play right there. Outside the 20 they are. It's a bomb on the last. 
perfectly placed it seems and they'll get the repeat set they're just trying to bash their way over now why not third time's the charm and they will get there through Shaq Mitchell with three minutes to go I think it's finally safe to say this game is well and truly over. Full time, full time, Rugby League Life 4 has the Indigenous beating the Māori 28 points to 18. So, a 10 point win, their first try scorer, Latrell Mitchell, and their last try scorer, Shaq Mitchell. But yeah, we're gonna call it there. As always, if you enjoyed that, be sure to run and shoot at that like button. And for more Rugby League related content, or more content in general, go ahead and drop the boy a cheeky sub. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you, 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 you. Later.